In the Zaporizhia region, Ukraine liberated more than 200 square kilometers of land. Over the past week, Ukrainian forces have liberated two square kilometers from Russian invaders in the Bakhmut direction and more than 12 square kilometers in the south. The relevant statement was made by Ukrainian Defense Deputy Minister Hanna Malia on Telegram. According to Malia, Russian troops continue focusing efforts on the Kupiansk, Lyman, Bakhmut, Avdiivka and Marinka directions. Fierce battles are underway. Last week, in the above directions, over 170 battles took place between Ukraine's defense forces and Russian soldiers. In the Kupiansk directions, Russians were storming and seeking weak spots in Ukraine's defense. They were actively conducting offensive actions to the south of Novo Selivsky, trying to push Ukrainian units beyond the barrier frontier of the Oskil River, but had no success. Our defense forces are strongly holding back enemy troops, Malia stressed. In the Lyman direction, Russian occupiers also tried to conduct offensive actions in order to push Ukrainian forces back near the Serebryansk forestry. All the enemy's actions were unsuccessful. In the Bakhmut direction, last week, Russian invaders were making every effort to stop Ukraine's offensive, but the defense forces were gradually advancing. The total deoccupied area in the Bakhmut direction is now 37 square kilometers. Two square kilometers have been liberated from Russian invaders over the past week. In the Avdiivka and Marinka directions, Russian troops were focusing efforts on conducting offensive actions in order to establish full control over Marinka and encircle Avdiivka, but had no success. In the south, Ukraine's defense forces continue the offensive operation in the Melitopol and Berdyansk directions. In the Zaporizhia regions, Mala, Tokmak, Robotyne sector, Ukrainian warriors have succeeded and are gaining a foothold within the recaptured frontiers. Here, the total deoccupied area is now 204.7 square kilometers. A total of 12.6 square kilometers have been liberated from Russian occupiers over the past week. Demining efforts continue in the aforementioned areas.